scared? I am scared. Are you scared? I am feeling it now. I've always wanted to go skydiving, but there's a reason why I haven't been. Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna do a little bit of story time because last year, I went on the craziest trip I've ever been on. So late last year, Polarium reached out to us, the guys who make Raid Shadow Legends. Check out the game, it's completely free. There's a link in the description below. And we've done a couple integrations with them before, but nothing like this. So they were putting an event on in Ukraine, which is where the studio for Polarium is. And they invited a bunch of creators to come, including myself. It was kind of dicey before going on the trip. I, I won't lie, I was, a little, I was a little nervous. Not to mention I had to go alone. No cameraman, nothing, just by myself in Ukraine. When I arrived, there was a bunch of other creators there. Bunny Fufu was there, as well as Akali, um, a couple of League of Legends guys, uh, and a bunch of other creators that I, I'd known of online. So it was really cool to meet them in person. Uh, so they took us to their headquarters, and uh, the studio is insane. Okay, the elevators look like something from StarCraft. So while we were there, we met the creators of the game and uh, some of the lead designers, and he took us to this uh, in-house mocap studio, which was massive. And uh, they got us suited up in these mocap suits, and I've never worn one before. Uh, and they're pretty comfortable. They feel like really tight pajamas. Uh, so they had us going in and uh, one by one, we'd do these kind of like sessions where we'd record stuff just for fun, just so they, uh, you know, we could check out the technology. And uh, kind of offhand, I was talking to the main designer while doing that. And I was like, just joking. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if like I had my own character? Like you guys should put me in the game. And he was like, yeah, you want to be in the game? I was like, uh, yeah. That'd be cool. He's like, okay, we'll get you set up with the uh, main designer for characters, and then we'll record all your motion capture stuff here. And then when you go back to LA, we'll get you a face scan. I was just like, wait, seriously? You're gonna put me in the game? He's like, yeah. So I was stoked because I've never been in a game before, and I really love the art style of Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, so to see myself in that game and that art style would be really cool. So the next morning, we jumped on a plane and we flew to Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine, and the city was beautiful. It was really cool to see uh, all the culture and the architecture, and I love that kind of stuff. That's like my favorite part about Europe. Right away, they took us to this airfield. They had this massive military convoy for us. They had these G5 trucks with Raid Shadow Legends plastered all over them. It felt really baller, it was really cool. Right when we got there, they shipped us off to an airfield. And I'll be honest, as soon as I saw those planes, I got really nervous. I've always wanted to go skydiving, but there's a reason why I haven't been. I'm not really the type of person who likes to put my life in other people's hands, and that's all skydiving is. Uh, so we were all pretty pretty stressed out right when we got there. Are you scared? I am scared. Are you scared? I am feeling it now, yes. I ride a motorcycle, and that's technically more dangerous. I feel like if I mess this up, it's gonna be a way worse death. It'll be a glorious death. Yeah, it'll happen. And I'll make sure to loot your corpse. Yeah, make sure you bring my bones back to America. Yeah. They got us all suited up in these really cool custom jumpsuits that they made for us. But then they told us that we're not just gonna be jumping out of a plane. No, 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 that'd be way too easy. They want us to jump out of a plane while also playing the game. So they got us suited up in these personal mobile routing systems that had like a laptop and a backpack and we had our phones mounted on our wrists. I felt like part of the Avengers or some sort of super secret spy team. And then um, they made us do this really cool Armageddon walk towards the planes. As the plane took off, I was looking around the cabin to all my other team members, and uh, we all looked pretty excited, but we all also looked secretly extremely nervous and really scared. Once we approached the drop zone, they had us all line up, uh, and the light was red, and they told us when the light turns green, we're gonna go. Uh, we we're all super nervous. That door opened up, and that light turned green, and getting up to the edge of the door and feeling the wind so intensely, that was such a crazy moment right before I jumped out. Then the instructor patted me on the back of the head, which basically signaled, hey, we're gonna do this. So I held my breath and we jumped. The second we exited the doorway, it was the most surreal feeling I have ever had in my entire life. Not only is it blistering cold as soon as you break through the doorway, the wind was blowing so intensely that I couldn't hear anything. My brain was trying to figure out what was happening. My body had no idea what was going on. And then I feel a tap on my shoulder. And the instructor goes like this. And he reminds me that I'm supposed to be playing the game right now. So as I'm falling through the sky, I have to force my arms through the wind to touch the phone on my wrist. And I'm sitting here trying to summon champions. It was super intense. 
I then feel another tap on my shoulder, which is the instructor telling me that he's gonna pull the chute and to brace myself. Because when he pulled that chute, the straps around my legs shot up into my crotch at a thousand miles per hour and almost passed out from that alone. Once I adjusted myself and kind of got into a seating position in the harness, uh, it was smooth sailing from there. Just click in, summon those champions. It, it looked incredible. That, that alone was worth going to Ukraine for. And at that moment, I realized just like, I definitely made the right decision to come. I'm so glad that I didn't decide to chicken out and not go. And I'm so glad I didn't chicken out and not go skydiving. We ended up coming down to the drop zone and it felt like the opening of the Power Rangers movie. So it was really cool to see because there's a whole camera crew ready for me as it landed and I had never been so thankful to be on the ground. Now, if that wasn't intense enough, they immediately ship us all in the van and then send us off to the next location. So they had something set up called extreme water sports and we had no idea what that meant. I have no idea what that means still to this day. They had this really weird Batman raft set up for us to all ride at the same time and it was gonna be pulled by this boat at high speeds. So they also wanted us to play the game while doing this. And I'm trying to hold on for dear life with one hand. And mind you, this is about maybe an hour after we've just jumped out of the plane. I'm sitting there rapidly clicking on this as water is hitting me in the face at like 20 miles per hour. <laughs> trying to not lose my team points. If one or more of us falls, we're gonna lose. Collie's falling off the boat. I end up falling off the boat. It was absolute chaos. But uh, they don't even give us a moment to rest. They're basically like, we have all these medieval costumes you need to get into. Here they are. So we suit up and they drive us to what looks like a castle. As we pull up, we see that there are rows of knights in full suits of armor. Uh, it looks insane. It looks like a movie set. And they lead us to this door. And then Nick, who was the guide for the whole trip, he opens the door and reveals to us a fully furnished medieval tavern full of minstrels and wenches, wandering knights who are sitting there sipping ale. It was insane looking. It looked like the set of Game of Thrones. Uh, we walk in and they have this huge table set up for us. And uh, this was like the end celebration. This was like after you come back from the war uh, and you get to relax. We were so tired, but we we're really thankful for everything. They had some Amazonian model dressed as one of the characters from the game. We're in the presence of what feels like a level 100 character, and we all look like level five characters. We were cheersing so hard that we're just like splashing beer all over each other. So in the middle of the celebration, this guy ends up bumping into the character from Raid Shadow Legends, and she doesn't take no shit. So she immediately just drop kicks the guy into a table and a massive brawl breaks out. They didn't tell us, but basically everyone in that tavern were stuntmen and they had rehearsed this intense tavern brawl. We ended up having a massive food fight. It was completely unexpected, super surreal, and it was an amazing time, an amazing way to end this trip. The people I met there, the other influencers, the creators of the game, uh, I made some really good friends there that I'm pretty sure we're gonna be friends forever. So if you guys have a chance to go on an adventure or a trip, just you should do it. You never know the experiences you're gonna have or the friends you're gonna make. So huge thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for setting up this event and inviting me. Uh, I'm a huge fan of their game and they support this channel as well as many others on YouTube. If you guys are a fan of dark fantasy or RPGs, you can play the game completely for free. And if you hit the link in the description below in the next 30 days, you'll get 100,000 silver, 50 gems, a free energy refill, and an epic level champion, the Executioner. Again, huge thanks. This was an amazing experience. Uh, and it's one of the coolest stories I can tell to this day. And also, don't forget, my character's coming out soon. So if you guys wanna check them out, hit the link in the description below. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.